It's uh, really great to have as many of your fans here, true fans. Uh, it's been we've been looking forward to seeing you all here. So uh, cool that you could come. We have a great respect for you, and we have great respect for your knowledge of the 2001 to 2010 uh, Barnacle. Uh, we won't pretend that we know as much of this as you guys do. So uh, we won't be answering a lot of detailed questions on the old canon. We will, however, uh, talk about what we know, and we know something about the topic today, Legal Barnacle 2015. And let me start out with saying it's a reboot. So all the talks and all the speculations, put them aside. It's a reboot, and Jeremy will get more into more about that. And when Jeremy and Stengel are, are done uh, presenting, uh, we'll try to ask uh, as many of your questions as precisely as possible. But there will also be a couple of questions, most likely, that we'll answer with no comments at this point, either because we don't know it yet or because we have to, uh, out of respect of either our partners or um, competition. So uh, with that said, go ahead, Jeremy. Guys, I hope you can hear me here because I don't want to sit there. It, it feels a bit boring there. But the, <laughs> the first thing is a new journey begins. Uh, welcome to a new journey into the world of Bionicle, into the fantastic and amazing world of Bionicle. The first thing that I want to do is I actually want to thank you guys for showing up here. But most likely, I want to thank you guys for helping to bring back Bionicle. Yeah. <laughs> Because I think you are the true fans and the true believer in this franchise. But anyway, we are doing this, of course, for a new audience group. It's the kids from nowadays. But we want to respect the roots, where Bionicle came from, when it first launched, what made, made it so big or unique. We think it's the, the mystic uh, the world, the mystic island, the cool characters, the sci-fi uh, fantasy feeling like this uh, uh, biomechanical feeling as well. Uh, as I said, the unique characters, we have the Toas here that we, with, yeah. that we brought back. We're going to bring back Makuta, the, the main villain. Uh, we, we look into all the awesome functionality that these guys did when they uh, launched it the first time. But of course, we also want to bring back the ultimate masks of power. <laughs> so, but... You can ask yourself, what kind of flavor? <laughs> what kind of flavor did we add to the bi Bionicle Primal Soup? Because when you have a delicious recipe, you actually don't have to change a lot. You know, you have to see how was it done. What can you add? And of course, most likely, what we add was the so-called new system. You know, that you hopefully all are familiar with. And then we looked into different kind of play triggers that I want to show uh, later on that we kind of refined towards our new building system. But we thought, like, let's respect the roots, let's put the, all the, the nice stuff in there, and let's not make it too salty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'm just going to give you a, a small uh, sneak peek from the concept. Of course, I can't show you everything, because we would si sit here till uh, two days or something like that. But you can see from the wall. That's fine for you. <laughs> That's fine. So, so let's talk. In the beginning, there was. <laughs> so, but the, the sneak peek is going to be from concept to product, and here on this picture, you just see like some uh, concept art on the on the packaging design that we went through, and on the right side is almost the final uh, product. I want to talk a bit about uh, the overall design style, the character development, and the play functions. So the d design language. I think most of you guys recognize the, the element on the left. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and what we wanted, we wanted actually to keep the design language from Bionicle. What made it, again, unique and combine that with the, with the building system. So you see, we, we took the focus on putting pistons and ribs and a lot of details into that one, but also made it compatible with our new building system. So it's not like unique, unique parts all the time, but it's parts that we can cross-use and, and we have our base platform that we can uh, use to create these characters. And that is also going to give you more uh, uh, options to, to make cool mods. 
So the starting point for the product development is, of course, the character. Who is the character? You see, you're all familiar with Tahu, I guess. Um, we, we really looked in who was he, what did he do, where was he, like, what is his environment, what is his class, what is his mission, what are his cool moves, what is his like, base feature design. You see like this rough black and white uh, drawing up there to really identify what makes it, what is, gives his, his expression. And we did shitloads of uh, sketches on that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course right now you, you only see the sketches here and of course we build also a lot, a lot, a lot and went through uh, a lot of uh, testing with the kids, with our target group right now to see is it still fresh, is it still relevant for the kids nowadays, you know? And, and that brings me to the next point. Of course we could not just use the old masks and bring that out. It is a bit like if you reboot Batman or, or uh, Ninja Turtles, you know, if they would just look like Ninja Turtles in the 90s, <laughs> ah, it might not work, you know. So we, we put a lot of effort into, into the, the overall design stuff. Uh, the next one. And what is more important than the masks of power? <laughs> so here again you can see we took the starting point into the original designs and we explored it in, in many different ways uh, and again what is the, the main starting point like for instance if you see Gali this uh, scuba diver mask you know how could, how could we do that uh, differently and, and give it a bit more of edginess so it actually fits into the into our new element design that we have for the for the system same goes with labor, it's, it's a bit more contemporary, I would, I would say. So, and this process we basically made with all of them. Usually we, we, we draw them up, we mock them up, we, we do 3D renderings of it, we do 3D prints, we see how does it look, how does it work, and what's the functionality. And that you're gonna see later on as well. The same, of course, goes with the weapon design. Here you see a familiar piece on the left, it's a Taos surfboard, you know, water is for wimps. So we wanted to, we wanted to keep that, uh, of course, so it, it's still that it can be connected and combined as well. Uh, as you can uh, very nicely see, a lot of ribs, technical details. That also makes it bionical, you know, that, that really brings out the, the bionical side. On the right side, you, you see the, the new hat that we did with the trigger function that I'm going to show you later on. And also there we took the starting point from the original, like even like the eye lines is almost the original one that we took there and then we uh, looked into the, the expression, how can we make a bit uh, a different expression towards that so we can also use that later on for animation content or that kind of thing. But let's go to <laughs> Let's go to the play and function. Uh, there's plenty of play in the box. I mean, if you just see the, this is the packaging, how it will come out. If you just see the left side, you actually see a small story in the box that we already put in there. And also to, to start the, the kids uh, uh, yeah, in a movie. So what do they see? What can they play without? Like they just go into the, the shopping aisle, they see uh, what they get and you see like he's surfing on lava so most of you recognize that as well that we kept the, the cool move of him surfing on this uh, plane uh, there's the, the, his ultimate mask of power in the box you get that there's a, there's a small conflict in there with the skull spiders that tries to grab the mask and bring it to his master and, and that is also converted to the back side where we see all the functions but I guess to show you the functions it's better to show you the models as well. <laughs> so what I will do now is, I try to go back here. You are some of the first people, you are the first people outside the Lego booth to see these models. Yeah, anyone outside the company. Yeah. 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 So first I'm gonna show you all the functionality on, on Tahu. And then I'm going to present to you the new characters and I hope you will recognize their names and just tell it to us. <laughs> so the first thing is, all the play that we tried to, to put in there was centered around the mask. So 
you remember this good old battle function. <laughs> and that also combines a bit more technical build into the into the model. And later on you can come closer and, and see that maybe I should just walk around and show it. Yes. So you know, and we made it quite easy and decodable for the kids as well to see, okay, that's a, that's a yellow button, this is where I have to have to play. Then the second thing, you remember the pop-off function that, that we had introduced for the first uh, launch, and it was actually, some kids thought it's a, it's a faulty element, because it was not shown at the, at the box or somewhere else. So we thought, can we do it, can we integrate that more into the play? And we, we figured that trigger here on the back, and what you have to do either with the battle function, you have to hit it, or in role play, you have to hit the back, and uh, the mask will pop off. And another cool feature that we also reintroduced is, you see his blades, and these blades can easily turn into, so turn into the surfboard of our friend here. So let's put it on. Let's make him surf on water. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's why we also put these plates on the back, again, to, you know, like a, a, a toa without weapons. It's not a toa. <laughs> <laughs> like this. So you have, this is what we call the, the adrenaline mode. So <laughs> down, and the other one is what we call the battle mode, where it's like, Come ready for battle. But Stego, could you ex uh, could you assist me? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Let's see if they can recognize it. Oh. So guys, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. who is it? Oh. 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 Right. So Batman. <laughs> Batman. You're right. So again, battle functions. We have the pop-up uh, mask. We we put in the. You know, these two are almost like mates, so they, they share the same piece, but he's using it as his keys <laughs> to go down. <laughs> the next one. I go a bit louder here. <laughs> Who's that? Leva. Leva. On Leva, we also like they have all the battle function and you know the flying mode, adrenaline mode, and then you can easily detach these and put them into the, the battle X function. <laughs> and again, the unique mask for Lena. Next one, Stenko? Yes. Here we go. Yay. So who is there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, who is that? Oh, Gali! Yeah! <laughs> so, and Gali also gets the, gets the function here, and her staff can basically transform into uh, the flippers. <laughs> what a swing mode. <laughs> Get, uh, another guy here. There we go. Oh, Hatu! Oh, oh, it works, it works, it works. Oh, <laughs> Hatu. Hatu is back. For Hatu is back. <laughs> <laughs> One of our coolest characters here, For Hatu. And he comes with these awesome things. Somebody put a sticker here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that the case? So, and he has this, and of course, small teaser. Do you recognize oh. this element? Oh. Yeah. Oh. The return. So, the return. So we also thinking about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing a couple of pieces back. So, he's ready to... Awesome. Last but not least. Last but not least. Onua. 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 And, and here you also see, like, we, we try to split up the models as well, so we have, like, a higher price point, because Onua 
I mean, he should be a big guy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like he should look tough and cool. And that is also what what we kind of uh, improve from the old launch, you can say. And Ulua comes with a very nice Warhammer. a Warhammer, <laughs> yeah. but also with this. Oh, you have these two new elements here, oh. and I would say that is Bionicle style. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Woo. and we have the digging claws. <laughs> 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 So then I have a small treat for you guys. I'm actually uh, I'm not allowed to show that, but uh, let's risk it. Wait a second. Oh no, where are they? Oh, they're on the floor. They're on the floor. But I think you guys have uh, enough imagination. So these are the protectors. This is the protector of fire that we're bringing out. It's a, a low price point. They come with their special masks here. Again, cool co-injected masks. Um, sadly, we did a test run and there's this very nice shooter that we're introducing, and, but there's unfortunately only one brick left. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can find them here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got another one. So if you guys have time for that. <laughs> We put extra in the box. Yeah, extra. <laughs> so later on we can, yeah, so at least we get three. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a six shooter, and you turn it, and you shoot it. And now the, the, the cool part is, of course, and that is part, part of the story. What you would that's, that's fine. Stand up straight. <laughs> I think I just put it in wrong. So let me. Sorry that I have to turn my back to you guys. Okay. Zahu no, would never turn his back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the protector, we can take away his weapons. And he says, Tahu, you must be ready for battle. <laughs> so he's gonna get the six shooter Boop, up there. And same goes with the with the flame swords. Easily uh -huh. just connected here. Like that. Like that. And just nice. And it's golden mask. So it's a it's a very fast uh, upgrade, you can say, a power up that we're putting in here. This is so far what I have to say to the models. It, it is fine. Maybe, fine. Jerome, yes. maybe you should mention that each of the models, of course, come with a... Yes. As you saw also on the box, each of the models comes with the golden mask of power for them. Finally. So <laughs> they have their own mask in there. Each of the box comes with uh, what we call the skull spiders, the stealers that can also be attached onto the, onto the guys. So <laughs> take it over. And that can also grab around the mask, so you can you can play role play on this. And there is much more to say to the models, and I'm sure that you guys, if you if you uh, start up your YouTube uh, um, uh, channels or talks about these models, you will find even more and more details, like the, the chest pieces, the unique prints on that uh, that we put in there, the masks of power that they have, and also other features and. and but now let's swift to another topic. Yes, yes, yes. Fine. Let's swift to another topic, which is I want to welcome you to the island of Okoto. Because what is Bionicle without a storyline? But instead of me telling you the storyline, we prepared a small teaser for you. 